I'm gonna try and not do so many spoilers. No, remove that. What the am I gonna do spoilers, of course. I mean, it's already watching the series. Hey there, it's Elena, and it's been a minute. It's been almost a month that I haven't posted a video and there is lots of fun and exciting work to be done in the lab. I'm gonna talk much more about it very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Today though, we are having a highly requested video. We are going to be reacting to the newly dropped Fallout series. And as you know, I have played a little bit of the Fallout game and let's say I'm not the most expert in it, but you guys have been very helpful in the comment section and I am trying to set up a PC where I can play and record for you. So this is going to happen as well uh, soon enough uh, because clearly with the PlayStation it was maybe not the most ideal, especially for a beginner like me. But today we are going to start watching the series together. It's gonna be a series of the series reaction. And without further ado, let's start with the first episode. You know this series is gonna be good when the first episode's title is The End. <laughs> Mind in my business. Some cowboy action. I wonder how fast he will run away when uh, the nuclear apocalypse will happen. Came by, I was humming a tune. Had no comment about the president's whereabouts. Surprisingly, this is exactly the vibe I also got from playing the game that this is going to be kind of the year or the decade uh, in which this whole thing is going to be happening. I already see the cute robot in the background, so I'm super excited about that one. Spectre of nuclear war facing this nation for 10 long years. Oh, here we go. There's a fear of nuclear war. They didn't specifically define who the nuclear war is with. The party, let's just focus on the party. Sure. And let's keep something that is a life threatening and can end our existence on this planet just because it's a party. <laughs> Coffee pause. I felt like something was missing. Turns out, was my periodic table man. Okay, caffeinated and ready to watch. <laughs> Why is that little kid not playing with him? The thumbs up. That's grown up stuff. Does it remind you of the rule of thumb for the mushroom? He taught us that if they ever drop a really big bomb, smaller than your thumb, now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your thumb? And there is no point to run at all. Oh no. That was way too quickly into the series. <laughs> I was not ready for this. And especially the little kid seeing that first. Oh no. Already go inside. Come on. That's smoke, Jenny. It's just a fire. Just run. That is not smaller than my thumb. Oh, God damn. Here we go. It's smaller than my thumb. There is chance of survival. Go, why is, why is he waiting for the explosion, the blast, for everything to be like blasted in the air and reach you for you to get shelter? Just go already. You clearly said you know what to do in case of a nuclear bomb falling, yet you're sitting there staring at it with your child. Well, hmm. I see they're quite prepared with their bunkers with radioactive sign on them. Oh, wow. You show your true self quite quickly in this situation. Oh, there is multiple. Oh, my God. Oh, there is so many of them. Oh my God, I was not ready. I thought there was going to be some build up a little bit to this. That was no build up. That was like gone. That was a good start. I'm ready for this. Somehow more excited than for the game. My name is Lucy McLean and I dabble in riflery. So oh, I'm not very good. Riflery is on the bad guy. In my personal time, I enjoy taking walks. And oh no. Did you see the sad way of taking walks <laughs> with these like stationary bike pedals for the feet while watching movies? I mean, could you 
to walk in the bunker. It looks like it's so big. There is like a fencing place and there's a place for like martial arts and stuff like that. Could probably walk around. Gardening, also with my dad. I'm participating in my family book club. With my dad. My reproductive organs are intact, my hygiene well maintained, and <laughs> yet I have- Is that like changing up people? Because I mean, I, I kind of get that, right? Because if your whole family gets inside the bunker, and then your kids grow up and then they're basically all cousins. So maybe this is a weirdly clever way of doing this. You're the only one. You're the only one. The prep. Is it like a meetup thing or is it already a ceremony without meeting them? Because you could, I guess, just meet the person, right? And then get married to them? Or is there like lack of choice so you just get what you get? Mm. So cute, the flowers in the uh, cans out of the tomatoes or something. It's interesting how they do have like flowers. Wait, I'm confused. Are they indoors or outdoors? Because based on the game, 200 years later, you end up in the bunker and then you try to escape part of it. Ah, but then we did go outside. But why are they wearing the, the boy, that little boy, how is it called? The thing on the head. Because if they're indoors, how much like electricity, where's the light coming from for so long and flowers and like growing stuff? I I'm slightly confused. Let's see. Also, if this is indoors, are we gonna question that someone took their wedding dress in the bunker for her to have one? Or did she grow up in the bunker and magically there was a dress there or fabric to make one? Is there a little bit of inconsistency in the movie or am I not getting the full context of it? Help me in the comments. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Now I see. So probably someone had the wedding dress for some reason in the bunker and then everybody be wearing it. That, that is the definition of one size fits all. <laughs> After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. So it looks like they are coming from inside the bunker and like it looks like the inside of the bunker, but outdoors. Ah, okay, now I see. Now everything is cleared up. I am still surprised by how do they have electricity and stuff underground for like forever if the world overground is like extinct. And uh, where's the crops and the fresh flowers coming from? Thank you, mother. Yeah, I wish she was here. Me too. Is this the cowboy guy and that's the girl? The, hmm, or is it just a random? Because the boy that had a birthday before the explosion was a boy. So it's, that's not the family, but then I'm not sure if these people look like the people before. Terrified. <laughs> oh, but wait, no, that doesn't make sense because it's 220 years later. So there's like four generations of at least, I don't even know, not even four, much more than four generations of people in between. So yeah, I guess those people we've never met. I'm curious, does she need to change vault now that she's gonna get married and go to the vault of her husband or her husband coming to this vault or can they go between vaults since they're all underground. As you can tell, I have many questions here. <laughs> this is like underground life that looks almost way too good to be true. I'm questioning pretty much everything. Ah, here you go. You can just walk to the other one. What's going on? Lucy, I love you. You're probably her cousin, no? Cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but it's... It's all well and good for kids, what? This is the nuclear family. <laughs> In exchange, we offer you a breeder. A breeder? Why is a guy considered the breeder and not the female? That's strange. You can breed with your cousin. <laughs> the guy cannot breed by himself. Who am I marrying? The robot. So they dressed the bride in the dress, but the guy couldn't fetch a costume, like a suit from somewhere. Seems to be a little bit difference in civilization levels between the two vaults. Her sperm count. 
proper question, what's your sperm count? That's what you ask. The first time you see someone and it's the time you're marrying. <laughs> the question is, what's your sperm count? To keep the candle of civilization lit. Well, you seem to be doing it. The other vault doesn't really seem to be doing it. Lucy and Monty's children will be able to recolonize. Yes. And such a beautiful bride. And her new husband. And I am not afraid. No comment from the husband. <laughs> Show me to my new home. Oh, so he is moving there. Interesting. Every big moment of our lives is going to happen right here. Somehow I feel that this Vault 32 that came over is not that friendly. <laughs> love your coffee pot. Love Let's your go. Muscle. Well, you might have want to take the wedding dress since people are going to be using that again. Oh. I think he's curious about like what's happening in Vault 32 in terms of like these people look a little bit stranger than us. Let's see what's going on. He has an excessive amount of scars, which is maybe a little bit concerning because you're in the vault. What are you doing? So I think you're fighting off wild animals. I don't think that these people are from Vault 33. 32. I think they are from other vaults and trying to like invade other vault because when they said ah the keeper of your vault got died we're so sorry about that and that lady was like yeah because of the crops and whatever it doesn't feel like it it feels like these people are some sort of like invaders or something it is to be like war happening here you go oh oh wow oh I didn't see this plot twist coming Oh, they're radioactive. I don't even see the scale on the measurement. Oh no. Oh my God. This is exciting, scary, and terrifying at the same time. God damn it. Oh my God, run. Can you not rip the dress? It's other people are gonna be wearing it. Kill him. Oi. Yeah, now I see all the scars and stuff. He's like actually Punching her. Wow. No, he killed her. No. Go, girl. Don't take it out. Just leave it there. Just leave it there. Stop it. Oh. What is it? They took all of their guns and stuff like that. Oh, the girlie took it. Let's go. Shoot him. Oh no. Okay, that's kind of vicious. Oh no, her husband died. I wonder about the dad. Don't make me use force. Well, at least you didn't use force. Good job. Yes. What's interesting for me, besides the, <laughs> all of this mess, is the fact that the humans actually did develop an immune system that makes them be able to be alive while in this high level of radioactivity. That's a nice evolutionary situation going on there. Just smack him already. Good job. Pickles? Did he drown him in pickle juice? Clever. Oh no. What happens if they explode something inside the vault? Because I assume it's under like a certain pressure since it's underground. Is the whole thing gonna like blow up? Hmm. Welcome. Go get lost. It's all because of you. I know who you are. If you know who she was, why did you let her in and exchange a guy to marry your daughter with? Them or her. You look like your mother. How do you know that? She's been 220 he years underground. You just came into their vault. How do you know how her mother looks like? Where are you taking him? To the real world. You should see it. Oh, he's gonna die then. 
from radiation, number one. Okay, that was crazy. I think we made it halfway through the first episode uh, with the biggest cliffhanger. They took the dad to the surface, which is insane. The daughter seems to still be alive, even though she was borderline dead at some point. The woman with a child has a stabbed eye. People are dead. The brother is saved somewhere. I am very much looking forward to what's going to happen once they take them out to the surface. I do feel that they're not going to wait for the next generation of children to get out. They're just going to get out we see what happens. For the first episode, that was amazing. I give it like a 10 out of 10. I am super curious to know what you guys think and how did you like the first episode. Tell me everything about it. Don't spoil the rest for me and we're gonna keep watching this together. This was amazing. As I said, I am fixing the setup to play the game sometime soon as well. That was it for the first part. Let me know how you enjoyed my reaction to it and if you would like to see more of that in the near future. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. It's been Elena, your friendly nuclear physicist. And until next time, see you soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.